To maneuver across rough terrain and over natural and man-made obstacles on the battlefield, the Army relies on a team of highly skilled engineers to construct its own infrastructure. Bridges are an essential component of this infrastructure, assisting in the preparation and construction of bridge sites and conducting bridge operations are the primary responsibilities of the bridge crew member. The bridge crew member supplies crossing support for any and every MOS in any type of environment through wet or dry gap crossings. This job is important to the Army because if there's ever a man-made or natural obstacle in our way, we're able to bridge over it and keep the constant flow of supplies, troops, whatever we need to get across to the next point. Soldiers in this MOS may be responsible for operating light vehicles, cranes, and bridge trucks, including the Army's sophisticated dry support bridge, or DSB. Soldiers may also learn to perform duties as a deckhand on a bridge erection boat, deploy rafts and launch and retrieve ribbon bridge bays, assemble and maintain military fixed and floating bridges, detect and disable mines, as well as preparing demolition firing systems and wire obstacles. This career field requires individuals who are interested in construction and engineering, who enjoy working outdoors and using hand and power tools, have an ability to work as a member of a team while maintaining safety awareness, and are physically and mentally fit to perform labor-intensive, strenuous work under pressure. My battle buddies knew that I might not be the strongest person, so they always helped me when I needed it, and then I eventually caught up with the curve and got stronger. After successfully completing Army basic combat training at Fort Leonard Wood, Missouri, you will remain at that station and attend six weeks of bridge crew member advanced individual training. There, you will learn basic construction methods and engineering principles, vehicle operation and bridge building, as well as rough carpentry and rigging. After successfully completing your advanced individual training, you may be eligible for worldwide assignments as a member of a combat engineer unit. Being a bridge crew member, there's a lot of opportunity to promote, as well as schooling such as Sapper, Ranger, Air Assault, and Airborne School and there's a lot of opportunity just to, to move among the ranks. The skills you learn, such as teamwork, discipline, and leadership, may help you transition from the military to the civilian workforce. You already have a background in bridging and engineering, so you shouldn't have a problem getting a job with the Department of Defense or any construction company. We also operate common bridge transporters, so you shouldn't have a hard time getting a job with the Department of Transportation. A crucial member of the Army Combat Engineer Team, Military Occupational Specialty Bridge Crew Member.